Finding the optimal bundle in a two goods model is one of the most common problems in microeconomics. Mathematically, it's equivalent to optimizing a function of two variables with one constraint. So, say that we have a smooth utility function representing well-behaved preferences and we know the prices of the goods and the income of the consumer. For example, if you have a Cobb Douglas utility function, then you know that these conditions are satisfied. However, if you have a utility function representing preferences over two goods that are either perfect complements or perfect substitutes, then such preferences are not well behaved and the strategies discussed here will not work. We will come back to these cases later. The problem is to find the unique optimal bundle. To solve this problem, you can choose between three different strategies which will all lead you to the same solution. The first method goes as follows. First, you differentiate your utility function and find the marginal utilities MU1 and MU2. From these, you can find MRS. This is the marginal rate of substitution of an arbitrary bundle and it will be a function of X1 and X2. Create your first equation by setting MRS equal to minus P1 over P2. Your second equation is the equation of the budget line. P1X1 plus P2X2 must be equal to M. Now we have two equations in two unknowns and we need to solve this system. With well-behaved preferences, there can be at most one solution. If your system of equations does not have a solution, then the optimal bundle is a boundary bundle. Here is the second strategy. Using the constraint, we can convert our two-dimensional constrained optimization problem into a one-dimensional one. From the budget constraint, we solve for either x1 or x2. We substitute the solution into the utility function, which will now be a function of only one variable. Then, we optimize this function by setting the derivative equal to zero. The third possible strategy is the most elegant one and the strategy which most easily generalizes to more complex models. This is also the strategy preferred by most microeconomists. We solve the optimization problem using the method of Lagrange. It's quite useful to study all three strategies. Each method will help you in developing some additional intuition about optimal choice in the two goods model. So let's look at all three strategies for a simple problem. Let's look at the first strategy where we find MRS and set it equal to minus P1 over P2 using a simple example. I have a Cobb Douglas utility function U equal to X1, X2. I know that preferences will be well behaved. For a Cobb Douglas utility function, there can be no boundary solution if income is strictly positive since utility of all boundary bundles is equal to zero. Let's say that P1 is equal to 2, P2 is equal to 1, and income is equal to 40. Mu1, the marginal utility of good 1, the partial derivative of U with respect to X1 is X2. Mu2, the partial derivative of U with respect to X2 is X1. MRS is minus Mu1 over Mu2, which is minus X2 divided by X1. We set MRS equal to minus P1 over P2, which is minus 2. This is our first equation that our optimal bundle must satisfy. We can simplify this by multiplying both sides by minus X1, giving us X2 is equal to 2X1. Our second equation is the budget constraint. 2X1 plus X2 must be equal to 40. I have two equations and two unknowns. We can solve this system in many ways, for example, by substituting x2 equal to 2x1 into the budget constraint. That will give us 2x1 plus 2x1 equal to 40, or 4x1 equal to 40, and we have x1 star equal to 10. Since x2 must be equal to 2x1 for an optimal bundle, x2 star is equal to 20. It's not possible to find any other affordable bundle providing a utility of 10 times 20 equal to 200 or higher. Here is the second method. We use the same example. Start from the budget constraint 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 40 and solve it for either variable. Here it's simpler to solve it for x2. We have x2 equal to 40 minus 2x1. My utility function is x1 times x2 
And since I know that x2 must be equal to 40 minus 2x1 for an optimal bundle, I can replace x2 with 40 minus 2x1 in the utility function. This will give me a utility function of only one variable, x1. u of x1 is equal to x1 times 40 minus 2x1, which is equal to 40x1 minus 2x1 squared. This is a function of a single variable, which I can optimize by setting the derivative to zero. U prime x1 is equal to 40 minus 4x1, and this needs to be zero. The solution to this equation is x1 is equal to 10, and we have the same solution. x1 star is equal to 10, and x2 star is equal to 20 from the budget constraint. Here is the third and preferred method of solving this problem. Same utility function, same prices and income, set up the Lagrangian. L is equal to the utility function x1, x2 minus the Lagrangian multiplier lambda times a parenthesis. The expression that you need to insert into the parenthesis is based on the constraint, the equation of the budget line in our case, 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 40. By moving income over on the left hand side, we have 2x1 plus x2 minus 40 is equal to 0, and it is the left hand side expression that needs to go into the parenthesis. We proceed by finding the partial derivatives of the Lagrangian with respect to x1 and x2. Partial L partial x1 is equal to x2 minus 2 lambda, and this must be 0. That is, x2 is equal to 2 lambda. Partial L partial x2 is equal to x1 minus lambda, which we set to 0, and we have x1 equal to lambda. We can simplify these two equations. x2 divided by x1 must be equal to 2 lambda divided by lambda, which is 2, and we have x2 equal to 2x1. This equation is precisely what we found by setting MRS equal to minus P1 over P2 in our strategy 1. As before, we combine this equation with the equation of the budget line to find the optimal bundle x1 star is equal to 10 and x2 star is equal to 20.